Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to another perfect day in the beautiful state of Utah. We got a ton to do in today's video. First, we're headed off to Park City Cars and Coffee, and we're very, very late, so time to roll. Audi R8 V10 right there, and we got a 4 GT. Welcome here to beautiful, beautiful Park City, Utah. OG subscribers, check this out. A nearly identical spec Audi TT to the one that I sold about a year ago. This is extremely poor execution. That is a rear wheel drive V10 Audi R8. One of 999 in the world. That's Mikey. <laughs> Making a statement as he usually does. See ya, man. Have a good one. Dude, the dog vlog. How you doing, buddy? Enjoying the car show? Yeah. What I love about Park City Cars and Coffee is the unique variety. Old school Testarossa right there. I didn't do a very good job filming. I just talked to people the entire time. So Cars and Coffee is over. We have a ton of work to do today and it's quite hot. 90 it feels a lot hotter than that. It's hot guys, it's hot. Yes, it's true, I have decided to part out my Audi R8. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, you should, because I made a post yesterday announcing that I was selling all of this stuff and most of the stuff has already sold. I don't really know how to say this. You're gonna be sad, you might be upset, you might be triggered, but yes, the light bar has been sold to a guy in Louisiana. If I could get a unanimous sigh, of sadness. Aww. Now I realize that most of you guys are very, very excited, so if I could get a unanimous sigh of rejoicefulness, that's not a word, moving on in the vlog. Enjoy this view while you can, because when it's gone, it's... I'm just kidding, I have to remove that. The AWE tuning straight pipes, I have a guy coming to look at the car in about maybe like an hour or so. He has a V8 R8. He's interested in buying the straight pipes. Now, of course, the exhaust still is on the car. As you guys might remember, installing the exhaust was not the most exciting portion of my entire life. And I would imagine that removing the exhaust will also not be the most exciting portion of my life. He's gonna be here in about an hour. If he decides yes, that's today's video. If not, three weeks ago, I was an idiot. I mean, I was probably an idiot before and after. I, mean, I definitely was an idiot before and after, but especially three weeks ago, I, uh, I messed up pretty bad. I, I made a mistake. I took my Jeep on an off-roading adventure and I proceeded to completely destroy my front passenger tire and wheel. And naturally, curiously enough, I didn't have a jack to change the flat tire. It was embarrassing to say the very least. But my new BF Goodrich all-terrain tire has arrived. The new wheel should be here momentarily. And today we are going to buy that missing high lift jack. Now we're in luck because today's video has been sponsored by Honey. I've worked a lot with Honey in the past before. It is the coolest online shopping tool ever and it is 100% Free. If you're unfamiliar, Honey searches the internet looking for different promo codes to save you guys money when you're online shopping. We're gonna buy that jack. I wanna show you guys the power of Honey. Check this out, check this out. Honey works on over 30,000 different websites. I use it for pretty much all of my online shopping, whether it's picking up a pizza from Domino's or auto parts from AutoZone or tools from Home Depot, even Cabela's. They have a high lift jack I want for $119. I also need to pick up a four-way lug nut wrench for $14.99. So as soon as I proceed to checkout, automatically Honey pops up. All you need to do is simply hit apply coupons. Come on, Honey. Big savings. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Check that out. So Honey just saved us $14.95 without doing anything at all. And did I mention Honey is 100% free. To install Honey, simply go to joinhoney.com slash stradman, click add Honey, add the extension, and bada bing, that's it. It is completely free. It saves you money instantly and effortlessly. There's simply no reason not to do it. Check this out. The last time I mentioned Honey, a few thousand of you guys downloaded it. The average person, I kid you not, saved $34. That is just crazy to think about. Check out the link in the description below or simply go to joinhoney.com slash stradman. I don't know how to reveal this news lightly. This is the last cold startup ever with the AWE tuning straight pipes.
The guy came to check out the AW Tuning Straight Pipes and unsurprisingly, he bought them. So now, I get to reinstall this monstrosity. Also in more news, check this out. The ski box and the ski rack have both been sold and the light bar has been sold. It's pretty common knowledge in the car world that when you mod your car, you're never gonna see that money back. So by parting out the car, theoretically, I'll make more money selling the car separately, selling the mods separately, than if I sold the car altogether. At least that's the goal. I guess we'll find out, more to come. It's so hot in this garage, I'm not really thinking entirely clearly. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm even saying. This is definitely per usual, not a how-to video. Uh, we're gonna try to make this real, real quick. If you wanna go see how I installed the exhaust, I'll link those videos in the description below. It's probably like 115 degrees in this garage, and that's not even an overstatement. It's, it's very hot. Rear bumper has been removed. We're cruising. We are gonna take a short break from the exhaust for next time, next time. That literally took everything out of me to be enthusiastic. I have been beat up uh, physically, mentally, and emotionally by this exhaust. It is like 10,000 billion degrees in this garage. So, yeah. Yes, I realize it says fragile, but sometimes in life, you just gotta, well, I don't know what you gotta do sometimes in life. I believe that did not work. It's like two boxes that are shaped the exact same size, this is take two. We have removed one box from the exact same size box. Without further ado, I present to you this. The new grill for my Audi R8. That's right, this is going in like so. You can see, so it has this cool honeycomb pattern. This is like the R, it's not like an RS, it's like, it's like a nicer grill though. I don't know what this is. Uh, I, I mean, I think it goes without saying we will not be installing this. Uh, this is the bracket for the front license plate. If you own an Audi R8 and you have a front license plate on the car, remove it. Don't tell anybody, don't mention it, just remove it. You can thank me later, or you can thank me right now. Either way, it really doesn't matter. Low key, just in case the new owner does want that, I'm gonna save it, so if you buy the car, you can have it, but just low key, low key. Wait for it, wait for it. I hate to do this, this is the last time. Enjoy it while you can. Aww. The light bar is off. I need to pack this thing up and ship it off to Louisiana, but first, we got the new grill. I'm not gonna say I'm pessimistic, but I'm not optimistic. I think everything, Wait for it. Never mind. Never mind. I had to get a picture for the Instagram of the car kind of just torn apart, sat here in pieces out front the house. I'm gonna leave the car in the back bumper. We're gonna take the front bumper and I'm going to attempt to install this new grill. All right. That has been removed. Take it all in, because we are making upgrades. This seems too easy. This seems way, way too easy. Things don't go this well for me usually. Like, that was way, way too easy. What do you guys think? The new honeycomb grill, just it just makes the car look so much more modern, and I lose the chrome strip. I should have done this day one. Obviously, I had the light bar, so that wasn't gonna happen, but anyways, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of you guys are saying, yeah, you should have done that day one because you should have never done the light bar. Anyways, on that bombshell, I'm going to back the R8 back into the garage, install the front bumper, and then continue the exhaust fiasco. This is the final rev with the straight pipes. Headphone users, if you haven't ever done it before, now's your time. Uh, I just realized my roommate might be taking a nap. Nick, if you're watching today's video, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can already picture my next video title. The man who fired me has now evicted me. It is now time to reinstall the front bumper. Generally speaking, it's a lot easier to remove a bumper than it is to install a bumper. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Here we go. 
The new grill is installed. If you own a first gen R8, you gotta do this mod because it just completely modernizes the front end of the car. It is now time to begin working once again on removing the exhaust. If I could get a unanimous sigh of regret, pain. Did I mention regret? Now we can take a proper look at the dreaded V-band clamp right there. This was an absolute nightmare when I originally installed the exhaust. Hopefully it's not as hard this time, but it probably will be, it probably will be. The spoiler has been removed. I don't know how to say this, it all happened so quick. I wasn't even filming, I wasn't even complaining. The first V-band clamp is off just like that. Are you kidding? I mean, this one is the easier of the two. This one is gonna be very, very difficult, but I'm working. I'm out here, I'm hustling. I'm putting in the time, and I'm gonna be here probably for quite a while trying to get that one off. Bada bing, bada 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 bing. These two V-band clamps last time, honestly, like low key, they took me like six hours. I just took both of them off in six minutes. Wait for it, wait for it, ha <laughs> ha. Driver's side exhaust has been removed. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I still have to get the passenger side. Driver's side, no, wait. It's been a long day. Passenger side has been removed. Heat shield has been removed as well. Oh, I need a shower. The AWE tuning straight pipes have finally been removed. The new owner will be picking up these, uh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I still need to reinstall the stock exhaust uh, sometime soon. I don't even want to think about that uh, because, well, today's video is effectively over. But first, let's take a moment to appreciate the scattered car parts across my garage floor. Also, the new grill is looking so, so sharp. Also, I do apologize. I don't think I've ever looked worse on camera. And on that bombshell, today's video is over. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over.